I'm Bernard Floater, and this is... Whoa! Fucking... Fuck you, fuckers, you bastard! You bloody bastard! That's enough, Dave. Your money's on the dresser. Good evening. I'm Bennett, Linda Shally, and this is Haddock News. Change the channel now if you don't want to see things like these. Yes, the votes are in and the public have spoken. I'm afraid that scene was sexist. The scene was written by the penis of Brian Jones of Winchester. I'm so ashamed. And will be dealt with by our resident defender of feminism and anti-sexism crusader. I do, of course, mean Taser Nun. Take it away, Nun. Here are a few of our top headlines. Italian inmates demand better disco music piped into their jail cells. It is apparently possible to play basketball inside the carcass of a whale. Dude, this is so awesome. French far-right leader Marie Le Pen said some unintelligible rubbish, which I didn't understand a word of. Which brings us round to this week's burning question. Do foreign languages really make any sense at all? We asked some foreign people to come and discuss this week's burning question, but unfortunately they couldn't read our email. Oh, for Christ's sake! Fuck! Did you know that Ireland has a president? I didn't. But now I do because he's in our Westminster studio, so let's see what he's got to say. Uh, Bennett, I think perhaps I ought <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Just. <laughs> don't. What's up, Michael Higgins? Call me David. Why? No reason, really. Look, I'll call you Clam Chatter Shandy if I feel like it, you fuckhole. Now let's move it along. Bennett! For fuck's sake. So what's politics for? Well, you buy it with taxes, it subsidizes prostitution, and it makes stuff up that people can talk about, you know, in the papers. Don't you dare print any of that. Who's printing anything, butter tits? <clears throat> I'd like to apologize to anyone I have offended. Never have I been so ashamed in my life. Gloin bene gebarte rim le aba. And I know now the error of my actions. I... Stop it, I say. Get on with ya. I was the fussy. Get her. Let's smoke some crack and dance merengue. Well, I don't know. I've never tried it. What? Do you mean the crack or the merengue? Trust me, they're both fantastic. Now, a new feature. Future news. What? This isn't in the schedule. In just a few hours, there will be a complete brontosaurus skeleton stolen from the National Gallery. I won't be involved, but if you're interested in purchasing a complete brontosaurus skeleton, feel free to give me a call anyway. But they don't have a brontosaurus at the National Gallery. What? Already? Do not dial that number. Dial it! Dial it now! No, 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 Ugh, no, no, Americans. No, no, no. no polluting no, humanity no, like a fleet no, of no, used no. tampons floating in the primordial ooze. Well, that's eloquently said for someone who enjoys nipple torture. Oh, my bruised soul. Give me the pumice. I must remove a layer of dermis for he's breathed upon my skin. Oh, fuck off, you fruit basket. Somewhere, not far from here, a newlywed family man, just won another triathlon. A scientist discovers what water is made of. A bicycle learns to ride a human. And here I am, wearing my armbands at the deep end of this godforsaken cesspool. Someday, a real rain will come and wash all this scum off the airways. The accumulated filth of this network's sex and loud music will have foamed up around our waists. And all the housewives and all the school teachers will look up and shout, Save us! And I shall whisper. More on that in a moment. Time now to check in on our field reporter, Mike, and let him know he's got a life threatening disease. Mike? I've got a what? Yes, Mike, you've got tuberculosis, and there's nothing you can do about it. I don't know what you're talking about. I feel. <coughs> 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 ah, it must be the fast acting kind. 
And now for something wholesome. You just mix the green beans in with the pre-cut human fingers and oh, suddenly I regret every decision I've ever made in life. Hmm? Mother, when will the government stop putting microchips in my sandals? Oh, I'll never understand how Wi-Fi works. But I guess they pay people to know that shit for me. I've always liked cornbread. Why can't I share a piece with God? I drank a lot during your pregnancy, but now I wish it had been more. Good morning, women. Which one of you would like to suck the mustard stain out of these pants? Die, honey. Heard you didn't make the wrestling team. Yeah, you hear a lot of horse shit, don't you? Please, Billy. Don't get defensive about your interest in man grappling, especially without your slacks on. You listen to me. I love math, science, and greasy fists. Why don't you just try pottery? I never thought about it like that. Mom, can I fire up the kiln? Billy, I've never told you this, but your father and I found you in an imitation Prada tote bag while on vacation in Chicago. Kept the bag, tried to sell you back. Catty little bramble bush you are, Ma. I'll suck the mustard out of these myself. And if you couldn't get a good price for a healthy newborn on the Chicago black market, you're not a good mother! <coughs> Mike, are you actually going to report on anything? There, that's much better. Oh, I'm here to talk tonight about obesity. Just roll the footage. Uh, if you'll let me finish, Bernard. Damn it, Mike, everyone knows the best part of an obesity story is the B-roll shots of fat people with their heads cut off. Just roll it already. But I... You put those headless fatties on the screen right now, you bastard. <laughs> Swear to God, if I wasn't allergic to goats, man, I'd have taken that Al Jazeera job in a fucking heartbeat. There's always a place at my lemon party for you, Mike. Well, thank you, Dr. Swirl, at least. This portion of Haddock News is sponsored by Gilcrest Farms. Gilcrest. Poisoning cows humanely since 1956. <laughs> what? Don't let this happen to you. Don't become a giant pigeon. <sighs> Paid for by Mothers Against Man Pigeons. This just in. Richard Marx is apparently still right there waiting. Could somebody at least, oh, I don't know, pretend that we're going to do something about that? And now let's go over to the weather studio with George. <sighs> On second thoughts, I think we can do without the weather. 